So every once in a while, something happens where you've got to deal with it. When my arm swelled to the size of a car tire, I knew I was in trouble. I had to go be seen by a professional. It was the last thing I wanted to do. When women get sick, we have to keep going. It doesn't matter what it is, whether we have the flu, we have to bring a bucket with us and puke as we change the kids' diapers and do laundry and do dinner and do everything. We still have to keep going. When men get sick, the whole world has to stop. And we have to wait hand and foot on them. Well, my husband came home with something going on with his elbow, like a mosquito bite or something. And you would have thought that the world had to end because he thought he was going to like lose his arm or something. All because it was a little swell. Alright, I'm at the doctor, okay? I apparently caught what Hellboy has. And my arm is swelling up my hand. It's going to be like Hellboy. No, check out my elbow. It's a cyst or an abscess or something. I don't know if you can get a feel of that. But my arm is swelled all the way down here. I don't know if you can tell that on video, but... So here in a minute, they're going to amputate. He really drives me crazy when he has something going on with him, like the elbow thing. He was in tears thinking he had to have it amputated. All he needed was medicine, which I told him all along. But I'm tough, tough like a pirate. You know? Arr, I'm not going to... You know how they used to get amputations and just bite the bullet, take with a bone saw. Yeah, that's the way I approach this thing. And if it had to be amputated, I'm the one. So I just have to take drugs. No amputation. I was really sort of set on getting a hook. And I think they got their diplomas out of a gumball machine because instead of just giving me medications that could be bought over the counter. They wanted to jab me with steel. They wanted to stab me. I was having a part of it. None whatsoever. It's uncalled for. Totally uncalled for. I don't care. I'm not taking a shot. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, not you a... are. What do you think? I think I'm a little kid. They got to shoot me in the butt. What happened? Why can't they give oral medication? You're getting oral medications, too. But the shot in the butt will make it happen. I'm going to lock the door. Why? I'm going to lock the door. He wanted to hold the door shut, was not going to let him do it. He was already tearing up and crying about it. Like, it, like I thought I was going to have to hold him down like I did my kids when they got their immunizations. They're not coming in. Nobody touches my butt. Nobody. Nobody. So the lady came in to give him the shot. And it wasn't even a big needle, but he thought it was like huge. So he made a big stink about it. And she was explaining everything to him, and you'd have thought that, you know, he was gonna have another meltdown right then and there. And sure enough, when he got the shot, he cried like a little baby. But I'm a tough guy. I'm a tough guy. I don't feel pain. I made a steal. I took it in the butt like a man. Do you know how long it's been since I got a shot in the I'm butt? I'm just going to clean it off here first. Oh, it's clean. That was her coffin. Okay, I hope that I got gold. Okay. Are you nervous? I'm like a little baby. Alright. On the count of three, one, two, three. Who's the man? Who is the man? I'd never seen a needle that big. I mean, it took two people to carry it in. It wasn't a big needle. He thought it was a huge needle, but it wasn't. It was just a little one for an antibiotic to go in his hip. It wasn't even really in his butt, it was just in his hip. After the shot was given to him, 
He thought he had to limp for a very long time. When really he didn't. It didn't hurt. I know it didn't hurt. I get shots all the time. It isn't a big deal. But you'd have thought that, you know, they crippled him. And he had to have a massage and he had to have, you know, medicine, Tylenol because he just knew it hurt. And this is exactly why men don't have babies. Because they are babies. They're big weenies when it comes to anything like this.